Yo guys, what's going down? It's your boy Ali here and welcome to part two of my talks about Titanic. It's a Titanic talk. Eee, Buddha. So, sorry that was really bad. <laughs> so, you're like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. So, um, I was talking about talks about the night of the sinking. So I'm going to recap what basically I've said from the first one so if you want to go and watch it it's up here screenshot of it it's basically exactly the same as the thumbnail on this one but it's got part two on this one so um, at 11 40 p.m. on the night of the 14th of April 1912 on her maiden voyage from Southampton to New York RMS Titanic hit an iceberg and it took three hours for her to eventually sink. Basically as she sunk. She went down like that. But as she went down. If I can do it like that. As she went down. She twisted and snapped. Like that. That's how one half is here. And another half is here. I'll show you some pictures here. Well a couple of photos would be going around every now and then. So you'll be able to see it up here. That's why I'm so close to the wall. So you've got. An area here for the photos. Um, on that fateful night, probably more than fifteen hundred souls were lost. I think it was only eight hundred and something that was saved. That's two thirds of the people on board. That's a lot of people. But like I've said in the first one, I'll also recap this: thirty-one point six percent of passengers and crew were saved. But if the lifeboats were maximum, maxed out, basically had all 65 people in it, they could have saved 53.4%. Uh, That's a lot. The water temperature of the, I think it was the Atlantic, was 2 degrees above freezing when she went down. That's cold. Hypothermia was set in very quickly. In those days, you, if clothes got wet, you would stay wet. Not like nowadays with waterproof stuff. You know, there was this 1912 we're talking about. Pre-war, pre-World War One. Um, as she sank, as as she sank down to the bottom of the, the ocean, uh, she went to twelve thousand six hundred feet below the surface which is 18 meters below the seabed because as she went down this seabed as she went down basically like that she's lying below the bed as she hit so hard because as she was going along the, the ocean i think she was going 22 knots and she was basically she was flying across the not flying but you know what i mean she was going down Exactly the same speed as she was going across the water. You know, that's quick going down. Um, a total of over the years of loads of um, dives and all that with submer submorticals, submersion, whatever it is, a total of six thousand artifacts have been recovered and probably even more. Even if it's little watch or little boot, you know, it's still an artifact from that fateful night. Okay, so let's talk about this one now. Screenshot of it. So uh, I'm going to do a comparison of the two, two Titanics. Um, the first, the original was uh, owned by White Star Line. Uh, the new one, the 21st century one, that's been built now, is owned by Blue Star Line in Australia. Good night, mate. <laughs> um, 
I'm just going to call it Titanic, yeah, Titanic 2. Yeah, Titanic 2. Um, what was it? Maximum crew of two, th well, crews and passengers, 900, well, it's 900 crew. So the rest is passengers. Total of 2,435, which is lower than Titanic 1, which had 3,500. 47 but like i said she had 2223 the night she went down so the numbers up here what the difference is um titanic 2's tonnage is 56000 tons uh, compared to 46328 so probably the reason for more tonnage is because of more newer lifeboats, more up to date, more sturdier, more heavier. You've got more up to date equipment. You've got bigger kitchen. Well, probably not bigger kitchens, but you know more modern technology, which is going to weigh more. Um, the length of Titanic and Titanic Two exactly the same. The beam, which I, I'm not too sure what the beam means. Um, the beam on Titanic uh, 2 is 32.2 metres compared to Titanic 1, which is 28.2. I'm not sure what the beam means. The beam. The height, exactly the same. The um, draft, which I think that's how low she is in the water. Um... The Titanic 2 is lower. Oh, well, she's she sits higher up, basically, compared to Titanic 1. This is really awkward. Uh, uh, you're comparing the two. You know, you've got to basically do this off your top of your head. The depth, which is exactly the same. Ships, I just don't get. Draft, depth, whatever, I just don't get it. All I care about is the looks. Comment down below and like if you agree with me. The decks, I don't know why, but ti excuse me, Titanic 2 has 10 decks when Titanic 1 had 9, A to G. So, yeah. I don't get that though because Titanic 2 is designed to carry 2,435 when... The original is meant to carry more. Yeah, she's got Titanic 2, she's got more decks. I didn't get that. Maybe it's wrong, a typo, I don't know. So the uh, propulsion on both, exactly the same three blades, but on the Titanic 2, it's more modern way the blades turn. Not just that way, they turn so you, so you can go that way or that way, you know, into port. Um, the engines on Titanic 2 is, I'm not so sure if I'm saying this right, it's two Wartzilla 12V46F and two Wartzilla 8L46F. I have no idea what that means, but she's got them. <laughs> Compared to Titanic 1, which had, like I said, 24 double-ended boilers and 5 single-ended boilers, which are steam boilers. Um, yeah, the speed is exactly the same, 24 knots or 28 miles an hour. And... Where is it? I've got a little thingy here. Titanic 2 has a total of 64,000 horsepower. I'm not sure what the first one had. It didn't say. Uh, so yeah, that's a lot of horsepower. 
a load of a, lo a load of ponies down there, you know, galloping away. Okay, so a little bit about Titanic Two. Um, her first, well, she was meant to be completing completed in twenty sixteen. Then it was put back to 2018. Now it's 2022, which is now Mar uh, February the. Let me have a look, sorry. Fucking. February the 2nd. Now it's February the 2nd of 2022. So she might not even be completed. As you've seen in photos, she's uh, sort of. Well, no, she's not in a completion. Well, you you judge that. Okay, so the builder of Titanic Two is CSC Jingling uh, Nanjing in China, and her cost is estimated of five hundred million. So compare that to the first one, which is here. In nowadays money uh, which is actually saying that is, is, is here sorry there's my where my room is it's literally under no sorry it overlooks a path which is so annoying so Titanic 2 costs estimated 500 million US dollars uh, and Titanic 1 in 1908 cost 150 million no, 1.5 million, sorry. And in 2019 money, it's 115 million. So that would be roughly around the same price, I think. With 1.5 pounds to $7, I think. Something like that. So anyway. Uh, so I've done that. Um... Yeah, so Titanic 2, her keel was supposedly laid down in September 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Well, her keel was laid down eight years ago, coming up. And Titanic 1 took seven years to complete. This is all because of financial distribution in wherever but the um billionaire says here which i'll have a picture i'll put here the billionaire clive palmer palmer or however you want to say it is the owner of blue star line and this is his first cr um, cruise liner that he's gonna build I wouldn't be surprised if he builds the other two, Britannic and Olympic. I really wouldn't be surprised. But this is her, his, sorry. This is his first ever ship that he's going to put into Blue Star Line. So yeah, that's facts about that ship. Um, also, when she is, Titanic 2 is finished and ready, uh, it won't be the like 21st century cruise liner. Even though it was built in twenty first century, he wants it when it sets sail. He wants it to be from Southampton to New York. He also wants it no Wi Fi, no internet, just as it was back in nineteen twelve. He wants it exactly the same, no internet, no Wi Fi. You know, no. Well, obviously there was a swimming pool. But all back, you know, no modern technology except from, obviously, what they need to use the ship with. So, so yeah, unless you got your own little Wi-Fi hub and there won't be no charges anywhere. Well, there probably will be, but, you know, no Wi-Fi or anything, no TVs. So, yeah. So, thanks for watching part two. If you like what I'm doing, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, punch the like, uh, subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.
See you later.